Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today is another Capture One tutorial. If you are familiar with Lightroom, then you know in Lightroom there is a slider called Dehaze and many people like to use Dehaze slider to add or reduce fog, mist, haze in the photo. In Capture One, there is no uh, a dedicated a slider called Dehaze. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can produce that effect in Capture One. Before we jump into the video, for those of you who want to try out Capture One, you can go to Phase One's website, download the software, it gives you a 30 day free trial. And if you want to purchase the license, currently Capture One is offering a bundle deal. You can get 40% less to get Capture One and the Capture One styles. Head over to the store page and the bundle deal is already 30% less. And you can use a coupon code AMBCAI to get additional 10% off. So 40% in total. Or if you don't want to get the uh, styles, you just want to get the software license, then you can still use the coupon code AMBCAI to get 10% less. I will put all the information and the links in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Now let's jump into the video and I will show you how you can produce that dehaze slider effect in Capture One 11. To produce the dehaze effect in Capture One, we firstly need to understand how it works. If you take a photo in fog, mist, um, the first thing you will notice is usually the photo appears a little bit brighter. It appears very flat and less contrast uh, and less saturated. So if we want to cut the haze, we need to do the opposite. We want to add a contrast. We want to add a saturation. And if, if we want to add a fog, add a mist into a photo, then we want to redu reduce the contrast, reduce saturation, and make the overall image flatter. So that's what we are going to do in Capture One. Let's take a look at this photo because I think this is a good example. This is kind of the photos that you will want to apply dehaze slider in Lightroom. But now we are in Capture One. There's no single dedicated dehaze slider that you can use. So let me show you how you can uh, produce the dehaze effect. Uh, in Capture One, first uh, you will notice that this image is very, very flat. Also, you can see from the histogram the darkest point is far from the pure black and the brightest point is also far from the pure white point that makes this overall image super flat so the first thing you want to do is stretch out this histogram and make it uh, more contrasty so what you can do is go to uh, the levels tool and just click this a which means auto adjust so just one click boom, it's going to automatically set your black point and, and the white point. So now the darkest point is the uh, pure black point and the brightest point is the pure white point. So as you can see, just one click on this auto button, just one click, we made uh, a lot more better than uh, the original photo. So this is before and just one click on the auto on the levels tool and gives us this photo so it's much better but if you want to go further you can just grab this black point and make it even further right so basically it adds more contrasting to this photo and make the photo pop also like I mentioned earlier uh, if you want to dehaze cut the haze what you can do is add contrast a little bit and add saturation a little bit and then you can uh, adjust the exposure so let me open the histogram and say I want it to be a little bit brighter but not that much maybe just like that all right so just a couple clicks I think uh, this photo is much better this is before and this is after now let's say you have a photo like this and you want to add haze or add fog mist into your photo and it's also very easy to do. Let me just create a new layer and let's call the layer add haze and I'm gonna fill the layer, fill the mask and press M to show what's selected so current layer is so everything is selected in the current layer 
Now, what I can do is uh, remember how to repro reproduce haze. Basically, I want the exposure to be a little bit bright and then less contrast, less saturation. All right, and the trick is still in the levels tool. So instead of using this uh, black point button, you want to use this button. So basically, that that says what, what what value is your darkest point. So currently, the darkest point is set to zero, but I want this photo. My darkest point goes to maybe about there. All right, so now let's check out the result. This is before this layer, and this is after the layer. So basically, I just add a little bit of haze back into this photo. And now I can adjust my mask. For example, I can grab a eraser tool now. I can remove the area that I don't want to apply uh, the haze effect. For example, in the foreground area, I'm going to just do a very um, quick mask just for demonstrating purpose. I'm going to add some haze back in this area. Make sure you use a very soft brush. All right, let's see how that goes. So apparently now it's too strong, and the good thing about Capture One is you can always change the opacity of a layer. For the demonstrating purpose, I'm going to go a little bit stronger than usual. I'm going to do maybe around 50%. All right, so this is before, and this is after. We just add a little bit of haze around these areas into the photo. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Remember, if you want to purchase a software license, you can use the coupon code AMBCAI to get 10% off. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. Uh, if you like this one, please hit the thumbs up button below and leave a comment. Let me know uh, what do you think about this trick and what do you like to see in the future. If you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tutorials, post-processing tips and tutorials just like this one. I hope to see you in the next video. See you.